When police or firefighters get seriously injured on the job, they deserve every penny of the pension they receive. But Lisa Guerrero and the I Squad found some government employees retiring early on questionable injuries, like this guy who said he could no longer work as a cop because he accidentally stapled his finger. He's just one of the fellows we tracked down. Are you faking your disability? This is former police officer Joe Darrow. He says he's completely disabled from injuries he suffered on the job and can't work anymore. But check out Derrico after retiring on a full disability pension. He worked as a repo man on a TV reality show, Bear Swamp Recovery, that aired on the cable network True TV. What is wrong with you? He sure doesn't look disabled here as he climbs into a truck with ease and throws a guy to the ground, all while collecting an almost $70,000 a year disability pension tax-free. How are you on a reality show pulling people out of a truck if you were disabled? We found many government employees enjoying the good life while living on disability benefits paid for by you, the taxpayer. Last month, 80 New York City police and firemen were charged with grand larceny for allegedly faking injuries that many said were caused by the 9-11 terrorist attack. But an Inside Edition investigation found that it looks like other ex-fire and law enforcement are gaming the system. Check out this guy. Timothy Carroll is a former crime scene investigator with the Morris County Sheriff's Office in New Jersey, just like the ones you see on CSI. But he claims he was so traumatized by gruesome crime scenes, he can no longer work as a cop. So he applied for and received a disability pension for life. So what did he do after retiring? Hard to believe, but it's true. He started a crime scene cleanup business. That's him in hazmat gear. And you won't believe this guy's story. 34-year-old New Jersey cop Christopher Onesti also claims to be permanently disabled. His tax-free pension could wind up costing taxpayers more than $2 million. So how did he get disabled? He wasn't shot or hurt while arresting a criminal. Turns out he accidentally disabled his left ring finger while at a firing range. He and his doctors claim that that injury prevents him from shooting a gun or performing other police duties. But look at this. Onesti recently posted video of himself shooting his gun at a firing range. Sure doesn't look like he has any problem firing a weapon. Mr. Onesti, I'm Lisa Guerrero with Inside Edition. Aren't these disability pensions for officers that have been injured in the line of duty, not for somebody who accidentally stapled their finger? Mm -hmm. I'm following the law. I didn't make the law. Just like you follow your boss's rules, what, what else do you want me to do? Can I see your finger? No, I'm not going to do that. This has to be the most expensive staple in the history of government. Mark Lagerquist is an investigative reporter in New Jersey. What we're seeing here is ridiculous. These three people got caught because they were stupid. Think of all the smarter people who are getting away with it. Why won't you talk to us, sir? The New Jersey retirement system has now asked to have Christopher Onesti, the guy who stapled his finger, reevaluated to see if he's fit for duty. The officer on the repo reality show has had his pension revoked, but he's appealing that. And as for the traumatized crime scene investigator, well, he has closed that crime scene cleanup business. He still gets that tax-free pension.